Van der Hoekten smashes Glamorgan back into the contest. The home side flirted with a place in the final last season and will be hoping to go one better. They welcomed Glamorgan to Headingley for their Group 3 clash. The two teams are joined by Kent, Lancashire, Northamptonshire and Sussex in the revitalised format, with the two places in the final going to the two best performers from across the competition. The first jab of the season was landed by Yorkshire's opening bowler Ben Code, who rearranged Nick Selman's stumps with the score on just eight. And not long afterwards, Matthew Fisher sent David Lloyd back to the pavilion for just four, turning in horror at what he had just done. The visitors were off to a quick start. Andrew Balburnie was taking the initiative with a couple of graceful boundaries and was joined by Billy Root, playing against his England captain brother Joe for the first time in their professional careers. Unfortunately for the Irishman, the early promise flattered to deceive. Steve Patterson struck in his first over with another that nipped back, Glamorgan 29 for three. Root now had Kieran Carlson as a partner and a bit of a rebuilding job on their hands as they dragged their side past 50. That was a task made easier when Tom Kohler Cadmore put one down off of a Carlson edge. By the time they'd reached lunch, the pair had put on a 50 run partnership and the score was 79 for three. The dropped catch was made to look even more expensive soon after the restart. The pair quickly saw Glamorgan pass 100 before Carlson found another boundary to reach 50 runs of his own. But the chance to make it a big one was gone just two overs later. A shot that had worked for him so well all day but there was some extra bounce from Olifia, and it did for him for 55. Swiftly following him back was skipper Chris Cook, who succumbed to one that left him from Patterson, and Glamorgan had slipped to 112 for five. The quick wickets turned the game on its head, Glamorgan retreated, and the runs dried up. Callum Taylor offered little resistance, and no shot to Matt Fisher, who pegged his off stump back to leave Glamorgan six down. The tail was almost exposed in the next over, Root fell to code, well taken by Tattersall, out for a defiant 43. The Welsh side scratched their way to tee on 166 for seven, with Douthwaite and Van der Hoogten offering some resistance with a partnership of 34. Douthwaite and Van der Hoogten found the resistance that had frustrated Yorkshire during Root and Carlson's pairing. The two began to find some fluency, and they put together a partnership to take the visitors past 200. Douthwaite cleared the boundary as Olifia tried some short stuff, Yorkshire's grip on the game was being challenged, and it started to slip when Van der Hoogten gave Joe Root the same treatment, the score now 226. Douthwaite's enterprising innings ended on 57, when he was bizarrely cleaned up by Code, but he dragged his side back into the game. Van der Hoogten kept the pressure on, powering his way to 80 at the close, alongside Michael Hogan, Glamorgan enjoying themselves in the dying light at 310 for 8. It was some turnaround from the Welsh side, who at one point were 132 for seven. They'd been rescued by a combination of Root and Carlson's dogged partnership, and some expansive lower order hitting from Douthwaite, Van der Hoogten, and Michael Hogan. Yorkshire let the innings get away from them, and will hope to rein their visitors in at the resumption on day two. But with two set batsmen chasing landmark scores, that's easier said than done.